गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग वंस अगेन लेट मी शेअर माय स्क्रीन या ओके नो वी आर लुकिंग एट द फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम इन द सीरीज ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास सो दिस प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स आई गॉट वेरी फनी आंसर्स इन दिस एनीवे लेट अस लुक एट वन बाय वन अ मैन ऑफ मास 50 केजी इज स्टैंडिंग ऑन द एंड ऑफ अ बोट ऑफ मास 300 केजी फ्लोटिंग ऑन स्टिल वाटर so you have a boat a boat and a man is standing here this man is standing here and uh, is one end of the boat so the mass of the man is 50 kg 50 kg mass of the boat is 300 kg remember this standing on water okay not on land okay he walks towards the other end of, of the boat so he starts walking like this With a constant velocity of two meters per second, constant velocity of two meters per second. Okay. With respect to a stationary observer line, so there is one more. So, for example, I am standing on the land, and I am saying, "Hey, this fellow is walking at two meters per second. Pretty good." What will be the velocity of the boat with respect to the stationary observer line? Now, the question is, this is a boat. Okay. I have not put any engine or motor or anything. So, when the student reads it, the first answer immediately I get it is, "Sir, when there is nothing being corrected, he either he is rowing or he is." So why should the boat move? Boat should not move, right? So the first misconception I get is v equal to zero. The velocity of the boat according to stationary observers is at rest. Have you ever gone to boating? If you had gone to boating, kayaking, okay, then you will observe the moment you are stepping on your foot onto your kayaking. Then what you do is there will be the the boat person who will just hold the boat, okay, so that it doesn't move. Why does why should the boat move? The boat will move only when you apply your force. So otherwise, it should not move. Now, where are you applying your force? The force that you are applying here is that. See, the center of mass of this boat is at this point. Your center of mass is here. Okay. Now, when you start walking, what happens is because of friction, you are pushing the boat backwards, right? So as a result of this, now when you are pushing the boat, the boat should now try to move like this. Now you are moving like this. Ha! And immediately because of friction. when you are pushing then what did the other student do is that the other answer i got is so why should it move newton said la you are exerting a force the boat is exerting a force on you why can't it do like this newton said la motion equal and opposite forces are exert on each of them the wonderful thing is that newton said la is such a easy la that people often get confused very much okay here also the same confusion see and then finally he wrote f1 equal to minus f2 and thus f1 what is f1 the force which i am exerting on the boat okay for a given unit of time and what is f2 the force with which the boat is exerting on me okay so based on this i write 50 into 2 minus v what is 2 2 is by this v minus u divided by t okay and the boat is d here v minus u divided by t you are already aware of this one what is v minus u by t v minus u by t is nothing but acceleration acceleration right so mass into acceleration So mass into acceleration here should be equal to minus of mass into as the acceleration. So that's what I have written here. Okay, so this two minus v is equal to v minus two. So solving these two, I get an answer v equal to two meter per second. What does it mean? That means when I am pushing the boat, when I am walking with two meter per second, the boat should also equally walk two meter per second backwards. Is this happening? Have you ever seen? No, we don't experience this, right? Let us see. So this concept is a misconception. why is this a misconception we will see this once again now how do we solve this first that's the first thing now when you are moving over here like this the boat is moving backwards like this or maybe you are moving forward backward the boat is moving backwards over here then what happens to its center of mass does the center of mass change the center of mass does not change why shouldn't it change are your center of mass depends upon the coordinates and also the boat right why shouldn't it change the reason is because the reason is because What's the reason? The reason is because this is an internal force. Nobody is pushing it. External means what? Somebody is pushing, right? Internal means what? Okay, nobody is pushing it, but still the object is moving, right? So therefore, the center of mass does not change. In other words, V C M should be equal to zero. Okay, V C M center of mass should be equal to zero. So now we know that this can be written as m one v one plus m two v two divided by m one plus m two, right? So, in other words, what is M1? What is M1? M1 is 50 kg. 
50 kg a v1 what is v1 this fellow is going forward 2 kg a 2 meter per second 2 meter per second plus m2 what is m2 300 kg a multiplied by v2 what is v2 v2 the boat is going in the backward direction right backward direction so this should be i'll put this as minus v2 over here divided by m1 plus m2 350 is equal to zero so this is what do i get here i can push this v2 on the other side i can write 300 v2 is equal to 100 uh, this goes away and this v2 is equal to one third meter per second so what does it get i get the answer 0 0.33 meter per second that means uh, the board is now moving in the backward direction see this backward direction i already taken over here negative okay you might be wondering how do i get this negative over here negative is because i assumed that when the man moves forward because of the friction he is pushing the board backwards and else okay he is getting 0 0.33 Okay, so I put the negative value over here. Solving this, I get the velocity should be equal to 0 0.33 meter per second. Now, as a homework, maybe you can try doing this. What distance does the man move on the boat? Let us say, for example, if the distance between this end and this end is, let us say, for example, if it is 5 meters, 5 meters, does he really walk for 5 meters or does he walk lesser than 5 meters? This is a question. What do you think would be your answer? He will not walk for 5 meters. The reason is because, you see, he will walk, boat also moves backwards. Okay. His net speed now is not equal to 2 meter per second, but instead, it should be 2 minus 0 0.33, which should be 1.67 meter per second. Right. So, in a given unit of time, he will not be able to walk 5 meters, but will be lesser than 5 meters. This is the answer for it. Okay, friends. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then do share and subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thank you.